Hello, bitches. Hi, guys. Welcome to a brand new video. So, as you guys can see from the title, I uh, got to do a live stream with Miss Janine Mason, who plays uh, Liz on Roz on New Mexico. Um, so, this live chat actually took place before 2.05. So, um, just a bit of context for you guys. So, I hope you get tight. Get tight. Shit. Oops. Never mind. I hope you sit down, <laughs> get your snacks, get your drinks, and enjoy this live chat. Enjoy. Hello. <laughs> hey friend how are you, how are you? <laughs> oh my wife this is my wife right now guys <laughs> i'm so happy to meet you oh my god this is crazy i'm so happy to meet you what the hell right like in person in person i feel like i mean look this is what's gonna happen this is what it is now but like this is everyone this is my wife if you haven't if you didn't know <laughs> I truly am like so. I've just been so moved by how much love you have for the things you enjoy, and it makes me so happy because I too lose my shit at stuff I enjoy. <laughs> and so, oh, yeah. thank you for being such a lover of 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 everything, of all your of all your fave things. It makes my heart happy. I'm happy I haven't um busted your eardrums with all my screaming. <laughs> that makes I, me very happy. I live for it. <laughs> I grew up dancing, so like I feel the way people could could like translate it is to cheer, which I don't know if you've seen that on Netflix yet with Jerry with his like yeah. map talk. So that's how my friends and I talk to each other. We were just like constantly just like yelling at each other and we're like, You got this and it's just like at at level one hundred. So I'm I'm a hundred percent here for you. Oh, I can't believe this is like crazy to me, like right now. Like it does not feel real. But I'm like <laughs> I, I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm sorry. Like, this is just like my life now. I love it. How are you? How are you doing? How's, how's everything where you're at? I'm doing really well. I'm just doing my videos, staying inside as much as I can. <laughs> so, right, right. screaming and losing my voice over you and everyone in the show, pretty much. <laughs> Are you excited for tonight? I am so excited. This season, you, can I just say, first of all, you got me crying in like the first episode in that shower scene. You're so sweet. Oh, you're so talented. It's ridiculous. I can't. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight's going to be such a fun one. We've got, like, some really, um, like, great performances, like, heavy hitter performances for the first time this season. Vlamis, for example, has some, like, beautiful work tonight. Um, mm -hmm. And then uh, Kimberly McCullough directed the episode. She's amazing. So she just got some really gorgeous work out of everyone. And, and it's a big episode, maybe one of the biggest of this season. So oh, stop. I'm so ready. To see it. I'm so ready. I've kind of been, you know, dancing around it because you don't want to spoil anything. But every time I talk to people, I keep telling them, like, you know, the season sort of moves this year and, like, sections and this feels yeah. like a nice completion for like the first half of the episode and then you're like oh no we've just been launched onto the next section of the season you know so it's yeah yeah, yeah. Fun on. yeah so pretty much i'm not breathing tonight is what you're trying to say <laughs> i'm not breathing tonight <laughs> i think you're gonna be like I think you're gonna be like 15 minutes into it and be like wait but but how has all this happened already like you're, you're gonna get oh splashed. no <laughs> I'm ready. Bring it. Honestly, just bring it because I'm ready to be attacked. Let's go. Let's go. I love that. I love that. <laughs> um, I guess I want to ask. People were asking me to ask <laughs> you about Echo because, like, we haven't had many Echo scenes, and you're ruining me in season one. I was deceased. <laughs> Thank you. And like, when are you reuniting? <laughs> oh, I wish I could tell you everything. <laughs> I know. But we'll have to do, we'll have to do a, a, a post talk post, post <laughs> this episode talk because i think you're gonna enjoy a lot of elements of this episode i think it's gonna make a lot of echo fans Ooh. happy or maybe just like <laughs> oh excuse me or maybe just like um oh i don't know it's a real roller coaster this one it's like oh or we'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to do this again after because i don't want to spoil it yeah, and I like, guess sorry to have to spoil my right. time, time, but we'll have to do a re uh, another one uh, next week or the week after, just like yes, because there's gonna be a lot to talk about. But it's a real echo ride, this one, and it is even when you think like you're off the hook, then it's like, oh my god, no, don't do this to me now after all that, you know. So yeah, um, our writers, our writers killed it tonight. So um, I think you're gonna like it. If there's some good uh, echo content tonight. That's all I can look. look. As long as you're on the screen, we're good, I don't care. I mean, come on, let's be honest. Done. Done. <laughs> I would literally be drinking wine, but it's like 10am. I'm like too early. 
I will drink <laughs> for you. She got hers. <laughs> Ready I mean, go. I could. <laughs> Oh my god, this is just crazy. I still can't believe this is happening. Like, that's... I mean, such a fan. I even used to watch you on Grey's Anatomy. When you oh were on there, I was like a fan on there too. Oh, I've, I've watched, don't worry. <laughs> Truly though, it's this has been, you know, it's like... It's a weird... It's weird times right now, and I, I... I always feel a sense of like, I don't know how to engage on social media in a way that feels normal to me which maybe maybe no one does it's like it's a it's an abnormal thing it's not a thing you yeah. you know grow up with it's constantly evolving so i feel like i'm just constantly going like how much do i want to engage how much do i want to be out there and um and and you have just been such a positive light and it's been and you've made it so easy for me to be like of course i want to connect with people like look how much everyone oh. enjoying and receiving stuff so thank you truly that's really sweet. I just, I don't, I'm just like, oh, you know, I just do my videos. I just like watch. I don't, like, I don't think like me watching like my videos, like, I don't think people watch it. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm talking to a camera. I didn't realize how many people actually watch it. Which That's brings me to my next funny. question. Tell how me. did you start watching my, how did you find my reactions? Like, I think I might have tagged you, I can't remember, but how, how did you like find me? Like, I'm so curious. I had so many people sending them to me. <laughs> Oh, really? Are you kidding me? I oh had God. so many people being like, you need to watch what this what this man is, is saying about you guys. He's such a fan. And, and it's like all pure joy. And, you know, I'm just like, a, I'm just a cheese ball. Like, I love love. I love, <laughs> I love people who are like shining bright lights. And that's exactly what you're saying. Like, you're out there just putting your stuff out. And of course, then it's like, we all come to it. You know, we're all like towards the light. Like, this is this is just pure joy. Let's all, you know, partake in it. So, thank that's you. That's so cool. Oh my god, that's true. That's crazy. I can't. True. I'm just like, <laughs> oh no, nah, I'm deceased. No, nah, I can't. I can't I'm staring at you. Gosh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Next time we'll do it when it's my morning and your night, so that then we you can have it. <laughs> oh, so you want me? To, you imagine me <laughs> drinking while like this? Are you kidding me? I would be so much worse. Are you for real? <laughs> I'm in. Are you kidding? I'm 100% in. Let's do it. Let's hit it. Okay, so what have you been talk. watching lately? Tell me. I've been watching literally the entire CW lineup is like all I've been watching. Oh my god. I can't. I'm telling you. I'm going to I'm gonna go tell them. I'm going to go tell Judy Amp and Claire Gendel who do our press. I'm going to be like, Adam is here for us. <laughs> Literally, I'm not even joking. All my shows, literally, like one after the other, is just like all CW shows. I'm like, yeah, that has me hooked. Like, what can I say? Oh, oh. Me. what? What am I watching? I don't know what I'm watching? What are you watching? Apart from Oswald, obviously. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I mean, let's see. I just watched yesterday. I started watching The Boys with my family yeah, on yeah, yeah. on um on Amazon Amazon Prime. No, wait, hold on. Yes, Amazon Prime. Um, and, uh, that was, like, so gory, and I'm generally not that person, like, I, I have to be, like, boof, like, weirdly love doing it, love doing the scene where it's, like, the stunts and the, I mean, I'm playing with alien guts all day at work, but watching it, I just can't, but we powered through, I think it's because my brother was here, and, you know, we just had a, like, it was, it was a group effort, and yeah, yeah, yeah. it was really fun. So that was that was a fun one. Watched that yesterday. Definitely. And just been watching like a bunch of movies and, and catching up on movies I hadn't seen and I finally watched um uh Knives Out and I had seen all the memes about Chris Evans and his knit sweater and then I was like yeah, yeah. Oh. That. I get it now. I'm on board. More Chris Evans and knit sweaters, please. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, he can be our other husband, okay? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're so kind. I'm 100% oh fair for that. <laughs> um, see, Regan, now this has just become a fan going over Chris Evans' Instagram live. Okay, guys, look. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> if enough people send it to him, listen, you f we find each other. We just have to get Chris Evans to watch the show now, huh? Oh, gosh. Could you imagine? <laughs> I, love, I just saw someone wrote, same, Janine, same. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Such a mood. Why are you such a mood oh my god <gasps> what else oh my is goodness. it saying let's see oh i should probably reread comments true i yeah let's see completely like <laughs> i didn't even realize i'm just like oh my god <laughs> no i just oh my god there's so many hi friends i love me <laughs> you need on too i am gonna well we're gonna make this happen i'm gonna recruit him don't oh. you oh 
I'm going live in Blamus next week. Guys, oh, yes! watch that. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, like, oh, I God. had to see. I was like, what was that? I shot by shot. Look, I had to. Oh, hell yes. I will totally. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> send you guys questions. It's gonna be great. Can you actually? He does so such great guess. photos on set too. He does, the, the photo I posted today was by him. He'll bring, he'll bring his camera to set and just shoot some like great pics. It's been, it's been really fun because he'll go and get them developed. And so we'll be, you know, towards the end of the season and it's stuff from like episode two and yeah, that little glam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love him. He's great. The whole cast, honestly, I just fall, I fell literally episode one, I fell in love. Like, are you, are you kidding oh, me? Like all of you. I was like, follow, 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 like, straight away. That makes me so happy. Good. We, you guys have, right. we just like really did each other and um it's nice. It's like everybody, um I don't know, everybody everybody's around the same age and we're all at the point in our career where we have truly like earned our what we've what we've arrived at now, you know. It's um mm. everybody's very grateful for um the work, of course, and getting to share the work, but also like good community in that because I think when you've worked enough you know like oh man when it's a good group it's really just like it makes everything better you know yeah and you can um, definitely yeah. see that and that's what makes the show so good is because you know the cast like you guys are all like friends outside of the show and stuff and it just makes it I don't know and the chemistry you know is like genuine chemistry and it's just like you all love each other so it's just like so much love and I love I love it totally oh I'm so happy to hear that we I mean, and we're in this like tiny town I don't know if you've ever been to Santa Fe yeah. Mexico, but it's tiny and um yeah, it's not a lot of young people. <laughs> so it's really Boy, what do you mean young? You're all young. Please shut up. Come on. <laughs> well, it's just like it's an older it's an older, you know, community in Santa Fe. So when we go to the bars, it's like just us. <laughs> <laughs> and like a couple yeah, stragglers. Yeah. But it's great. It's great. Hey, but you got each other. That's the main thing, let's be honest. Exactly. Exactly. Oh my god. I love all the <laughs> Chris Evans content we're getting now. This is great. <laughs> what people gonna spare with that Chris Evans photos now, please. <laughs> I love that. Oh, all right. All right. So I have to ask you another question. I wanted Hit to know. Me. Wanted to know. So I, one of my favorite things this season. Okay, the drinking of wine is a mood, by the way. I, <laughs> I got you. Get ready. You can drink for me, please. Drink for me, please. <laughs> um. So one of my favorite things about this season so far mm -hmm. is the friendship between Liz and Isabel. Because that was really like in episode four, I was I was crying. Do you understand me? You saw I was I was dead. Oh. Like that whole scene of her reuniting, like the family. I was I was emotional, man. Oh, I just really yeah. respect that. Like she's, I love Isabel's um, journey on this show, and and it's uh, Lily just brings so much to her. She's so full in her like delicious devilness, like devilishness off the top, mm. um, that when you like front load something so heavy like that, like, you know, you're creating such space for it to go. So yeah. that episode just really felt like such a beautiful completion of their, like n their friendship journey, you know? Um, it was so weird. It's funny because Lily and I are, are very close. I, I adore that woman. She is like such a special creature. And um, uh, we are always very like physical and lovey dovey and huggy. Yeah, yeah. But Isabel and Liz, like, don't ever touch. And then in that scene, that moment where, I, where I'm grabbing her leg, and then Lily in the moment just was like, grab my arm and put it around me. And I remember as Liz feeling like, oh, my God, you know, like, so, so grateful and so um, at home in her embrace, you know. Um, yeah, Liz is, is from as much as she is so um, complicated and, and all the all the walls she puts up, like she has such a big tender heart in the middle and family is everything for her. So that he's an extension of, of, of Mac, but she's an extension of Max means like, she just adores her through all of the, the bitter, you know, the bickering and the problems. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, um, it was so fun. So fun to work with Bill more this year. It was fun to like, slowly recruit the scooby-doo gang members you know it's yeah, like yeah. episode by episode it's like grabbing people in and being like come come kyle bring your like medical expertise and come michael yeah. and bring your this the alien knowledge you know and then all of us banding together to save max was really fun Such yeah fun and that's that's why i'm loving it because slowly everyone's like kyle's now part of the gang and now he's about slowly coming into it and now we have like maria who had just found out about mm -hmm. everything and like 
that that um, Heather brought that when she found that she brought that she nailed that. So kudos to her. Tell her thank you because that was oh, amazing. Done. Absolutely. <clears throat> well, is there more scenes obviously between you and Heather, like dealing with the fallout of her finding yeah. out? Yeah, you know, what I love about our show and the fact that everybody, all these characters are, you know, they're older, they're not in high school, you know, they, I think, really have a, an immense appreciation for how beautiful friendship is and how you just, just showing up is huge, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so what what happens with Maria is like she's able to put so much of the, the questions and the hurt and the pain that she has towards Liz, of like, why would you not have included me more? She's able to yeah. go aside and just show up for her in this episode tonight. And it, like, just, like, broke my heart, you know. Because um, that's, like, real friendship, you know, where you're, like, I'm not going to be petty. And I know we have stuff to figure out still. But I'm always going to be there. That, like, constant stuff is so much Maria for me. Um, mm. And Heather Hammonds is just, like, freaking. That woman is, like, spot on every time. She does not it miss is. it, you know. She's razor sharp with her work love her oh that's amazing that makes you so happy because i was like be waiting so long in season one for marie to find out i'm like it's about time you know and then yeah. having to find out like that and even with Rock rosa telling me and everything like oh well such a scene between her and amber like that was such a good I'm, i love the show i'm sorry i'm a fan girl it's so like happy. oh my god wait i saw somebody asked here if, if you could play a character who would you play i'm curious oh who, Ooh, would, who would i play oh or that's who, very or I guess interesting what what set would you want to hang out? If you could hang out on one of our sets, which one would it be? <laughs> oh, well, I could say, I could say the diner because like there's food there. So like I would eat the food. Okay. But, <laughs> but maybe, here for that. maybe, in, maybe in the, maybe the caves or the lab where you're bringing Max back to life. Cause that sounds really fun. Right. And that's, that's some real sci-fi sci science moments <laughs> in there. Yeah, that's so cool. And obviously, I play Janine's husband. Please, guys, stop <laughs> stupid. Come on. <laughs> oh, sorry, Max. It's gonna get complicated when Max, you know, ever if he ever wakes up. <laughs> but <laughs> we're gonna hold his hand. We're gonna walk him through. It's gonna be great. <laughs> if he ever wakes up, God, please don't break my heart. He's waking up. I will fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I can't. I can't. This is the danger with me in these lives. I'm just like, I just want to tell you everything. We're gonna, we're gonna try not to, but like, also tell me. No, don't, tell me privately. Can't tell me how. Done, done, done. done. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I mean, maybe I'll be, maybe I'll be Max's. Yeah, you know, maybe I'll be like a younger brother, like an, another alien. Oh, that'll be cool. Right. That'll be interesting. You find me a boyfriend on this one. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell people, I'm like, I, I think I messed up. Like, I signed on for a sci-fi show. And then I went, went for the human role. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you might be a human, but you're a badass one at that, okay? I mean, Liz is smart. And actually, the her being, like, all that smart and literally figuring all this stuff, like, she's iconic. She's a badass. She's not a weak, weak-ass bitch, but she's fantastic. She literally holds her own. Amongst all the aliens, I like, come on, respect. Oh, why, thank you. I, we, we, love, we love that saying of her brain is her superpower, because it mm, is. 100%. 100%. And isn't that, like, amazing, man? It's just crazy to think, like, what we are capable of, us, you know, mere mortals, um, especially when you have as much um, at, at stake as she does. Mm. I mean, without you on the show, like, there would be no show, because oh. you get them out of all the jams, so, like... <laughs> And we wouldn't have you and Vlamis scenes together because you two on screen together. Oh, Literally, I love their French. I love the duo between you and Michael. It's incredible. Thank oh, you. Look, I'm just going to praise everybody, please. We love just everybody. had such a good time, him and I. Like, we, we really hit it off in the pilot. I mean, that's when this whole, like, it's me, Vlamis thing started. We just started, you know, fucking <laughs> with each other and being <laughs> ridiculous. And um, he's just a good time. He is, like... And he's just so glamorous, you know? Like, there's really no yeah. for it. Other yeah, that. it's glamorous. Literally, it's glamorous. Like, you can't. Exactly. It's glamorous. There's nothing else to describe him. <laughs> How did the whole joke with the It's Me Glamorous come about? Because, like, that's my favorite running joke on the show. Or, like, you know, oh, it's my favorite you. thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we went out, we were in Albuquerque shooting the pilot because we shot the pilot in Albuquerque. And we shoot the series in Santa Fe. So we relocated, right? 
um, and we were in Albuquerque. We went down to this area of town where there is this like board games cafe where you play board mm. games. Like, and we were just like, it was Heather, Nathan, Lily and I, and we were just like messing around, having a good time. And then we got in the car and Lamps is always doing these these stories where he's like, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. And, just, and, so, and so I grabbed his phone and started just messing around. I was like, hey guys, it's me, Blamis. And then it was really the three of us. It was Heather, Lily, and I just like just took over his phone that day. And then it, it just like grew and grew. And now it's like on t shirts that he granted. But, it's a thing now. I had people never let it die. I have had friends of him reach out and be like, just so you know, I have a like I have a bag of lipsticks with of chapsticks with your face on it because he <laughs> had those made and just like it gives them yeah. to friends and they're like, I don't know what to do with this. I'm like, I can't help you. Don't send them to me. <laughs> I don't need that. Create a merch line, sell it. People will buy it. <laughs> he's he's a character that one, let me tell you. But I love that guy and he um he he just cares so much and he's so i mean him and let's okay let's get to talking about malik's i can't yeah about please him. i think it's about time i think it's about time we bring it to malik's let's be real guys come on let's oh. to malik's i can't i could talk all day about them please i've been waiting oh my god hit Love me tell life. me what are your thoughts this season hit me while i take another sip look i'm going through things i'm not gonna lie going through pain between I them i feel you but I feel like Michael, I think they do need a break so they can grow as people and then they can come back together in the end because their love is cosmic, right? Yes. Um, so I feel like they need to take a, that bit of a break to just kind of figure out who both of them are and just grow as people before they can come back and become their mm -hmm. iconic love. But it pains me. But me, I, I love Maria and Michael. They have really, they do have really sweet chemistry, but like Malik has my heart. Malik just has my heart. It's just like, oh. Of course. How do you feel about Forrest in this situation? You know what? He was... I found him really cute in episode four. I'm not going to lie. I yeah. saw him and I'm like, who's that? I'm like, oh, hello. And he's really cute. And I could okay, get on board. Yeah. yeah, literally. I was like, hello. But yeah, look, I haven't seen any scenes with him and Alex yet like, together. Right. But look, look, I feel like I could fall for them. They're going to make me fall for them, aren't they? And then they're going to rip them out from me. You know, you <laughs> I mean, I, all I can say is like, we, we really do. We, we, we were lucky that we got that third season news so mm. early oh, on. Thank God. Honestly, right? they, we when I watched the finale for season one, they hadn't announced season two yet. And I was like dying. I'm like, if you leave me with Max dying, oh my we're God. dead. I would have, I would have, flown, I would flow down there. Oh, literally. I would have had to have put together like some really bad <laughs> student film version of season two. <laughs> yeah, bad. <laughs> Just to bring him back, it would have had to have done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, we got so lucky with that because we were, I think we were able to craft the stories in a way where, like, we're doing exactly what you're saying, where I think it's, um, it, it, you're just going to really get to feel like these people are growing to a place, you know, all of the characters. And, um, and it isn't just, like, toying with you. I, I hate that, like, yes and no, yes and no, yes and no thing, too. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like we were really able to play, um, yeah, like a, a slower game, a slower, like longer game with everyone. And um, I think the way it's going to work out in, in season three, which obviously I don't know anything about yet, but they're actually writing it right now, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, I think it's it's going to, for Liz, at least, like it, I really feel like she's, whatever she's doing, you know, she's doing it off of two grounded legs, you know, like off of yeah. planted feet. And that's the way I feel like our writers are taking care of all these characters. Um, and as a fan of stuff, like, I want that. I, I, would, I don't yeah. want to feel like it's, it's not on steady ground, you know? So, yeah. We're, I'm, I'm with you. I'm such a Malice fan. When I took that, that <laughs> picture of them, when we shot Oh, my God. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, this is the best thing in the entire world. Best I thing ever. Really, I mean, you guys just, like, the fans just amaze me because... Every time I think, like, this isn't going to, you know, like, this is a long shot. This is going to happen. <laughs> then it's like, oh, my God, you guys make it pull through. Like, you know, there was, this was this photo that I'm like, well, if we get picked up for a second season, I'll do this photo. And then everybody <laughs> was like, 
girl, this is pinned. This tweet is pinned. I will yeah. not let you forget it. We're coming back to this. And sure enough, I mean, so then I took it and then I had to like hide it for months. And I knew how epic it was. I knew that that was delicious Malik's content. And it yeah. was just sitting on my phone by itself. You need terrified. to cherish it for yourself. You have to like just take it in by yourself because like before posting it to everybody else. Yes. I was like, <laughs> I need to, I was like, how do I make sure this doesn't even go on the cloud? I'm like, <laughs> you know, I felt like I was, I was like, you know, harboring a very, a very, a big treasure so it was so fun to release it out and now seeing like all the fan pictures and like it's just like the the drawings that people have like run with yeah. it i was like okay so now i gotta figure out what next picture i'm gonna do with the two of them try to top it yeah epic. there has to be another echo scene where you can recreate later on in the yeah. season it's something something you can yeah. recreate 100 like the 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 hookup up against the bookcases or something at the end of yes <laughs> oh I would die. I would die. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll, I'll start thinking. I'll start thinking. <laughs> I love it. I can't. I can't. That's... <sighs> okay. What else? Tell me. What else have you been hearing from people? Anything else that people want answers to? Um, I think... Oh, I can ask you about Liz and Rosa. You and Amber. Oh, yeah. That relationship. The stuck From the get-go. From season one, you could already say that you had that sibling connection. But now, now that she's, like, back alive... It's just like your scenes together. It's just like it's so raw. It's just, oh, I don't know. I can't even explain. It's it's so good. Oh, she. Thank you. She. I. That is like the um one of the relationships I'm most proud of cultivating on the show mm -hmm. because um just in in what the show is. The show is a, a story of a of a Mexican American woman who um, comes back to Roswell for her family and her heartbreak and all the complications that are rooted for Liz, like starts off of for sure her mom and we'll explore that more, but really losing Rosa, you know? Um, mm. And so getting to like reunite that family, like at the end of, of um, Shiri's episode, which aired last week, you know? Yeah. Um, that just felt like, oh, gift. I just, I wanted to give this family, you know, and um, and that they deserve. They, I, I do think Arturo, I love the, the, the wording of um, that our writers put together for that, of deserving a miracle yeah. that Isabel said. Yeah, 100%. And you just know those people, you know, those people in your life, you're like, that person does. That person is, you know, a pillar in their community. That person is a damn good father, you know, mm. on, and Arturo is all those things, so. He deserves the world. He deserves the entire world, literally. He just, oh, is it was he such a good thing. Carlos Compian, I, that man, he's so sweet. <laughs> you can, <laughs> oh, I couldn't imagine. We did a lot of work on, like, developing the crash down a little more this year, which I'm excited for people to see. Yeah. There's an actor who... Um, is named Giancarlo, who comes in a, a bit for us. And we did a big scene towards the end of the season. I think it's actually in the finale where uh, it's one shot and it comes from inside the kitchen, follows me down the stairs, in the kitchen, out to the front. I'm like walking plates and he's the cook. And um, it was just so fun to put that together. It was like such a, you know, technical feat for our crew, and yeah, yeah, yeah. and he got to really shine, and it's and it's exactly that. It's all about making it feel like a family back there, you know, because it is in these small businesses. It is, yeah, exactly, and you and you feel that, and that's what makes the emotional scene or every scene because you just know there's that genuine like love, and that's what makes it so strong. That's why you got the third season, okay? A third oh, season four and five, okay? <laughs> We're so pumped, man. <laughs> Oh um, my! And another thing I love also is the soundtrack, like all the, like the '90s songs. All because I, I grew up with that, and I'm like, it just it brings me back. And I'm oh like, hell yeah! Oh my god, our music is bomb. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I'm like, my god, we're good. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, I don't know about that choice, Janine. You know, or like that was questionable, Vlamis. But our music's on point. <laughs> The music is literally, because I, literally, I, as I said, like, I grew up with listening to all those songs. I'm just like, oh my God, this, because I, I miss all those drama shows when like all the teen shows I used to watch with all those songs in it. And I'm like, oh my God, this like, it takes me back. It's such a good feeling. And, I, and of course it makes sense because Rosa, you know, just came back alive after 10 years. So she's used to all that music and like the iPod touch and everything. So all those little things oh, are like, like re it's really good to see. Like I've noticed all that stuff, all the things that she's, she's just to adjust to the world, you know? Yeah.
And she, that's what I was going to say is Rosa is that. She is that like 90s. Her clothes yeah. has such a like whole, you know, vibe to it. Um, so that's, that was another fun point, like point of cultivating with her. It was just, yeah, but I, I love Amber. I want to work with that woman for the rest of time. I truly adore her. Yeah. She is amazing. You both are freaking amazing. I can't. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still fangirling. It's fine. It's been like, God. Oh, no. please. I am like, I am a hundred percent fangirl. I don't know how to not. I just. Honestly, same. Like you, when I love stuff, I'm like, hi, I love it. And, and I've definitely encountered people who have been like, I love you and, and you're amazing and your work did X, Y, Z for me. And they've maybe not, they've been a little like, I didn't, you know, maybe they don't need that or it's weird to then work with someone. But I just like to find your people who like mm. do love and appreciate and like thrive off that and, and understand that. I'm like, I will, I will always just like throw myself full butterfly. Like, I love you. Like, I get you. Things, you know, <laughs> literally like, me, literally I'm me with you. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, should we answer some, please? Yeah, I saw a question. Um, would there be any scenes with Liz and Alex? Because we haven't seen much of them together. Any scenes between them coming up? Um, let me think. We have. Oh gosh, I'm trying to remember if what happens in the next episode. We do have some stuff, but you know what? That is like. Um, working with Tyler and um, Heather, the three of us, like those scenes are always m the most fun for me. And um, with all of the like, with all this complication that we're in with Max, it's been, it's been harder to have those moments where the three of them are just like drinking a bottle and like mm -hmm. sussing through life stuff together, you know, like fish. So yeah, yeah. I'm excited to get back to that place where there's maybe, you know, towards the end of the season where they can lean on each other more. And obviously there's still like, there's still the the Maria stuff we were talking about earlier to to figure out and um, but yeah but no it's it, that, that's one of my like I'm always I'm always vouching for more of that and I want more of that in season three even because to be honest with you like we could we could use more of it we could always use more mm -hmm. of it it's fun to see that to see just like the three of them who've been friends for so long just leaning on each other you know and I love yeah, to exactly. see like, you guys react from it so that's definitely something I want to fight for more in season three. Um, because we have a good time on set. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you and the whole cast. <laughs> and yeah, of course. Like it too. <laughs> of course we <laughs> like it, please. Of course we like it. But I love Tyler. We had such a, we just had a really lovely season together. We, we did a lot of hanging out and bonding this year. And, um, he's, he's just... This role, I, I'm, I was so happy he took this on. I, I was a fan of, of Tyler. I had never met him, but obviously seen him on, you know, a little show called yeah, Pretty yeah. Little Letters. Oh, and, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, that one. Oh, yeah. And I just was a fan of his. And when he signed on to the show, I thought, like, my God, that is so cool. This guy's going to tackle this role. Because I knew already, you know, the enormity of Alex's journey and his conflict with his sexuality, with, with um, coming, you know, owning that in the eyes of his father in particular. Um, and, uh, he's just knocked out of the park. And, um, last year it was just really wonderful to be his friend and be alongside him in his own journey of, of coming yeah. out. Of I know that I actually cry when that happened. So <laughs> he's just, you know, he's very aware of, um, of how his actions, um, you know, could have, could have carry a lot of weight for people. And, and I admire mm. people who, who do that, who, who, you know, take that seriously, and yeah, um, yeah. That makes me so happy. I love, I fucking love the cut. Oh, shit, some swear, but like, I love the cut so much. You guys are amazing. Oh I, I could just keep telling you all that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? We need to. We had season one. We had a day where we had like a press day, and people came out and talked to us on the set. So yeah. we gotta, we gotta see if we can drag your butt out there if we do one season three. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I will be there. I was supposed to go to Comic Con, but then this oh happened. Oh my god! Yes. All right, done. Done. But like, I, I, it'll happen. It'll happen. Don't worry. I'll be on the set soon. Don't worry. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. You if Karina lets me, it's fine. You. We got you. Don't you worry. <laughs> You're in. Sneak me in. I'll hide in a pod or something. It's fine. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think that's all I have to ask. I think that's all I have to ask. Amazing. 
All right. Well, then, okay. Um, so I'm, I feel like I need to send you off into your live with Flamis. Yeah. So next week. So yeah. Oh, that's just, happening. <laughs> just give him a hard time. Okay. <laughs> okay. You need to give me some questions I can like, yeah, actually send me questions I can say to him. And he'll be like, how do you know this? Like, he'll be like, how do you know this? Let's, let's not confuse the hell out of him. Okay. Let me see. All right. Um, oh, here's one. This is okay. Good. Let me write down. Okay. Go ahead. I'm ready. He, um, <laughs> <laughs> ask him about, about his favorite snacks okay okay um these snacks in particular t tend to show up in blam's kitchen um when he's a little inebriated but ask him about um pork rinds i think that's how you say it the little like pork rinds yeah yes and then he he will put cheese on it and put it in the microwave <laughs> okay <laughs> So I think ask him, maybe let him like go through the recipe for you or something. <laughs> big, big pork rind. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else can we ask him about? Um, oh, we'll ask him about missing Karin because you know him and Karin lived together season one. So yeah, yeah. Um, we were all very concerned. He lived by himself season two, and we were like, "Is this the best choice for you?" <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I feel like we gotta find you a roommate. <laughs> Oh my god, I live for that. That's hilarious. Yeah, oh I can't really like not having a roommate because he lives with all his buddies in LA. Yeah. Um, and then lived with Karin in season one, so season two he was by himself. And I know I was worried. I lived down the street, so I you know. It was fine. Um, oh, ask him about his mom, Denise. Ask okay. him his... Denise is an ama ask him what Denise made for like Easter this weekend an incredible cook that woman will like stock up this freezer with yeah. desserts and she's amazing so i love denise i'm a really big fan of denise oh she's gonna be like how are the hell are you asking me these questions surprise not about the show but you're lying <laughs> done done oh, i love it <laughs> well so thank cool. you so much this was so much fun babe i'm so i'm so happy to get to chat with you and again i i Same. love Love, love your work. So thank you for me too, me supporting too. our show so much and supporting everybody's like all the work you love. It, it means the world. Me too. Same with you. You guys just make my day. Honestly, you make my it's Tuesday for me now. So it's, you make my Tuesdays. Okay. So good. Thank you, good. wife. Happy, <laughs> <laughs> happy. Stay safe. And, you do. Um, make sure you save the live so I can post this on YouTube. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait. How do I do that? <laughs> No, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. How do I save it? Is that a button? I think when the live ends, it says, do you want to save? And then okay. you push yes. And then I push yes. Okay. All right, done. Yes. So make sure you save because I have to post this on YouTube. Done. Thank stuff. you, Abby. Don't fail me, girl. I will figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, thank you so much, wife. Wind down. <laughs> Literally. All right. Bye, babe. Stay safe. And, you too. Um, yeah, keep in touch. And let me know 100%. How you 100%. Oh, don't worry. I'll message you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, girl.